over the ship. Would you believe I'm going to disguise myself as Harold Mallard, the eccentric millionaire who thinks he's a duck? <laughs> and order the captain to surrender the computer? Uh, somehow you don't fit the bill. <laughs> I find that hard to believe. Would you believe I'm going to incite the crew to mutiny and in the confusion mount my tank? <laughs> <laughs> Deputy is an invisible worm that 
flies in the night. She blows where only Ellis and Mangles grow. The inspector is pleased to be here and deeply appreciate your hospitality. <laughs> I am his aide and interpreter, Troy and Who. Joe Who? Precisely. <laughs> Tell me, Captain, is Harold Mallard aboard yet? Who's Harold Mallard? The totality of man is more than the sum of his words and deeds divided by his actual spread. <laughs> Who is Harold Mallard? Why, he's one of the richest quacks in the world. Yes. <laughs> he started off with a rinky dink operation in Toronto, but now he owns a whole web of enterprises. Oh. Including a cat house in Hamilton. <laughs> Cookie's been a chef on this ship for years, haven't you, Cookie? 
English. Earn it, earn it, earn it, earn it, earn it, earn it, I was used to take care of about 20 days on the Titanic. Very bad. Used let me tell you. Schmack in the iceberg and the ruined enough lifeboats. Or the dish cruises got no. Boy, think it any big business, baby. Beer got her, that's for sure. Just need to push you back down into the galley. I don't bother, Captain. Nothing down here but dead rocks. <laughs> well, I'd also like to be our our navigator uh, for this voyage. Maybe be me. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Captain. What, what happened to Maybe's vein? Uh, I'm not sure, Captain, but I think I heard some Boy Scouts talking about a taxidermy badge. <laughs> Poor son of a bitch. <laughs> I also want to meet our radio operator for this cruise, uh, Mr. Maybe Vidon. <laughs> Maybe? 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 Why don't we just get eating while everything is still hot? Wow, what? Did you see the look on that rat's face when it died? Yeah, I guess I know what the bottle of Danny Rat boy is anymore now that we've got our extermination match. Yeah, well, where should we put it? Put it on this crate. It will be safe enough there. <laughs> well, while we're waiting for dessert to arrive, let me say something about a subject that I'm sure is already on your minds. As you know, the sea gets choppy from time to time. And many of you probably have visions of regurgitating this fine meal <laughs> before you even have a chance to get back to your province rooms. Province rooms? Don't you mean state rooms, Captain? No, Mrs. Television, we only have 10. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, there's no need, there's no need to worry about getting seasick on this cruise because I have a highly trained medical staff. Ladies and gentlemen, our ship's doctor. Good evening, everyone. I'm Dr. Kathy Kerr, and this is my nurse, Harold Nightingale. <laughs> I'm sure we can promise you all a very special voyage because after years of research, I have finally developed the world's greatest seasickness remedy. Nurse, pass me the bottle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not effective, it tastes like food. Wonderful seasickness remedy, I'm sure we won't have any reason to turn down dessert. Let's eat, shall we?
further, I'd like to put an end to rumors of murders on board this ship. <laughs> it is true that last year, Pierre's brother got knifed. <laughs> Nasty, unfortunate accident with Francine's cousin on the archery range. <laughs> and something else. I forgot. Was it your uncle? Oh, no, not my uncle. I hardly knew him. <laughs> Champagne? <laughs> oh, it's not important. Anyway, that won't happen this year. Well, it did. Dave, why don't you tell the passengers a little bit more about the ship? Certainly, Captain. Now, to begin, the ship is powered by 94.5 engineers on a co-op work turbine. <laughs> That's uh, 105.7 on cable. <laughs> they, they keep us going at 50 watts, or uh, knots. Uh, when they're all rowing in the same direction, that is. Uh, <laughs> and, to control it all, we have the latest, most advanced electronic wonder of the age. A cybernetic miracle that uses highly sophisticated, self-sustaining semiconductor circuitry and a miraculous multi-mode megabyte memory. A what? The newest, niftiest, non-volatile network that can nullify nodes in nary a nano nanosecond. Huh? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> a marvelous machine, Captain. Oh, the computer. Not just a computer, Captain. The world's first and only bisexual computer. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> ACDC. around the bridge. No sand trap on this one, sir, but watch out for the water hazard. Water hazard? Why, yes, sir, the Gulf Stream. Uh -huh. <laughs> this reminds me of the 14th at Pebble Beach. I was playing with the club pro. Too bad she couldn't go. Well, I think I'll take my eight wood here. <laughs> Now, the most important thing to remember when you're golfing is to keep your eye down, your head on the ball. Can't allow yourself to be distracted by anything around you. Four, five, a perfect drive, this should be an easy part. <laughs> After my brother had that accident with the Vegematic. <laughs> How about you, Baby Snoop? How'd you get all those merit badges? Well, to start with, I got my wood chopping badge, a chopping down, a hydro pole. That's good. Not really, the hydro pole fell onto our house. Oh, that's bad. No, that's good, because the hydro lines ignited the roof, qualified me for my fire lighting badge. Except my family was in the house at the time. Not to mention my entire potato collection. Oh, that is bad. Well, no, that's good. You see, I managed to get my rescue badge by carrying everyone out of the house. Hey, that's good. No, that's bad. You're all unconscious by the time I got them out. Oh, that is bad. Not really, because I managed to get my artificial respiration badge by giving them artificial resuscitation. Now, that was good, wasn't it? Yeah, I guess so. Except they died anyway. <laughs> Really? 
have to get on this boat. The I ate a truck badge? No, the man signed the citizen's arrest badge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, where is that jerk in the box anyway? Right here, you little idiot! Oh. <laughs> news, <Zenu>, Nice <laughs> to meet you. I guess you're wondering who I am. Who are you? Anyway. I am Conrad Gerbil, the leader of the AIA. AIA? What's that? <laughs> the Anti-Impotence Alliance. <laughs>
Gentlemen, gentlemen, aren't you getting tired of doing your drinking game? Yes, there all the time. Well, it is a bit of a bomb shelter. Wouldn't you much rather be doing your drinking up on the bridge? Sure! What's a bridge? <laughs> huh. Look, I have to get at the computer to complete some, uh, some research. You and your men need a new place to do their drinking. All I'm suggesting is that we work together to overthrow the captain and take over the ship. You mean a mutiny? <laughs> well, in theory, no. <laughs> but in practice, yes. <laughs> what do you say? Well, uh, I have been looking for a good topic for my work report. <laughs> Chances are we need a new place to go drinking. <laughs> we say yes, my boys! Excellent, excellent. You will receive further instructions shortly. Until then, enjoy your drinking. <laughs> Just anywhere. 
working for that bastard if I didn't have a hunch. <laughs>
speak a word of English. Well, obviously he passed by dumb luck. <laughs> What is so interesting about the fish? A big fish! <laughs> fish and chips? <laughs> Arr! Armada, the Spanish Armada. What is it? Seal. Shark. Eel. Clam. Crabs. That is what you get for messing around with mermaids. <laughs> known 
as Mean Mohim. <laughs> Allow me to introduce Waylon Jennings, Max the Truck, Altruistic, and myself, Rich Shickhouse. <laughs> mean Peace? Right, we are like fighting for the preservation of the sanctity of life. How? Last year we clubbed to 2,000 heartless seal hunters. <laughs> and the year before we sank 312 whaling ships. 312? Well, we would have sunk more, but that was our legal quota. <laughs> this year we're after those senseless individuals who are shockingly cruel to man's second best friend, the rat. We're making a publicity film showing ugly faced slobs beating up on cute little ratsies. How would you like a starring role? To make the captain's cute. You won't find any rats on my ship. We got the rats. And you got the ugly faced slobs. Ah! A rat molester! No! No! It is not true! I think Adam is really kinky. Madame, I consider, <laughs> Madame, I consider that an insult. I only molest small, furry engineers. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll get a fair trial. <coughs> Break! Oh! Ship. 
apart from the floating crap game on the poop deck. <laughs> All right, so you lead, and maybe you're dummy. Thoughts and on. We got a dummy ache. Now! <laughs> you <Yeah>, think <please>, you <laughs> Maybe we're in trouble. There's no maybe about it. What do we do now? Take them and throw them in the brig. Then you can have the bridge to yourselves and chug to your heart's content. All right, right, right. Bridge. <laughs> All right, master, they're gone. Good, now I can get to work on the computer. Master, if I might ask a question. What is it? I was always under the impression that an aphrodisiac was a filter, a, a serum, a potion, a food perhaps that encouraged sexual desire. Yes. Well, then I would like to know, and I don't think I'm alone, but does any of this have to do with computer tape? Uh, I can understand if your aphrodisiac was in a test tube. An aphrodisiac on computer tape? Oh, is that all? Well, you see, it's really very simple. The aphrodisiac is in a test tube. All those contain the world's greatest aphrodisiac? No, that's just the problem. Why is that a problem? Well, you see, it's this way. You know, with all these budget cuts, no one can afford to have a lab of his own anymore. I can't even afford a cocker spaniel. <laughs> I share my lab space at the university with a man named Dr. Beaker. I thought your partner was a student named Cylinder. It's the same man, it's just that Cylinder changed his name when he graduated. <laughs> The point is that, uh, well, Beaker and I used the same test tube rack and, and we got our bloody experiments mixed up and now we can't tell which is which. I know that one of these contains the world's greatest aphrodisiac, but until I do a computer analysis of each test tube, I won't know which is the right one. I understand. The computer will help you tell the difference. <laughs> That's not all it'll do, but it's a start. What do the other test tubes contain? Well, I don't really know. We both had so many projects on the go. I know that at least one contains a deadly rat poison. Another contains a cure for audiosis. Audiosis? A strange condition in which the sufferer speaks only in sound effects. <laughs> See, there's also one of bubonic plague and one that turns you into a mermaid. But, now, <laughs> I'm the doctor. Precisely. Hot work. I've got the yo-yo. I've got the string. Smoke gets in your eyes. But elephants stick to the roof of your mouth. <laughs> Good. I'm on the system. Now to mount my tape. <laughs> That's it. They're all in the brig. The whole crew. Thanks some of the passengers. They got in the way. So now the meeting's over. Let's get down a little money. Who's got some fast meetings? We used up the fast food last night. What we got to drink? Well, we got something here that's called Dead Beer. It's got a real good head on it. Here's some stuff we brewed yesterday. Oh, yeah, what do you call it? New Vienna. Have we got any not quite so new? Well, we've got some older but wiser. <laughs>
you have that aphrodisiac until ACDCO has done a computer analysis of each test tube. Otherwise, you might be getting some deadly rat <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to tell you the truth. I think we already know which test tube that would be. <laughs> How far along are you in the analysis? I barely got to first base. Well, we can't do very much of anything with whom on first. <laughs> But we'll be back, and you better have what we want, or else. <laughs> Booty? What do we want? 
along with baby clothes. <laughs> They don't. Whoa. Pittsburgh, what's it over by the ship's stern? Is the stern the pointy end of the other one? <laughs> Pittsburgh, when in heaven's name are you going to learn nautical terminology? Sometimes you make me so mad, like you throw me out one of those little round windows. Now look over there. I don't see a thing. Why, why is something going down in the water? Linda Loveless? The Warriors Band! <laughs> no, it's a Trojan whale, you blasted idiot! There she goes! <laughs> Sister, that just means that mean pieces around. Our old enemies are back. Well, this time we'll seal their fate. <laughs> Presence. We are the 
servants of the light, arming ourselves with truth and virtue. <laughs> you can arm yourself with truth, virtue, and godliness if you want. I'm bloody well taking my night. Enough of this stupid pep talk, gringos. We're in a collision course right now with that ship out there. And we're gonna crash any second. Are you ready to board? No! no. Ship away! We're gonna crash! Hey, gringos! We're coming to stop you! Okay, everyone on the starboard side!
me and do it every time he starts something. It blows up in our face. I'll let him finish. It ought to be a blast. <laughs> Anyways, we should start things off with a bang. Aren't you using too much explosive? Will you let me do this? You've got enough dynamite there to blow Rick Smith right out of the president's office. <laughs> No, it's hopeless. I told you we 
should have gotten an IBM instead of a Honeywell. <laughs> IBM probably hired the pirates to steal the computer just to get revenge. They already got revenge. They sold a snowball, remember? <laughs> That's right, I remember seeing that in a movie once. Bought by the sailor. An island? Without the computer, we can't stop the ship. Oh, no! You can't do it We, we have one chance. If, if we lighten the ship sufficiently, we might not have enough momentum to carry us on the shore. You mean if we throw everything useless overboard, we may not run aground? That's right. Quick, everybody, grab something useless and throw it overboard. How far are we from the island? It's hard to tell. It's real pea super out there. How can you tell with all that fog? Look, there's the island! Dead in hand! Dead in hand! No! We have one last chance. This is our last rope. If this fails, we're a son. Oh, 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 oh.